Welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. Now it's time to spice things up in the sixth kitchen with Moroccan meatballs. Okay, Erica, drum is in charge. How do we get this started, Erica? Hello. Okay, so we're going to start with our meatballs. You can use any mince you like. Uh, Middle Eastern kind of lamb dishes or dishes like meatballs are usually done with lamb, never really with pork. Or there's sometimes beef in there as well. So when I was in the butcher earlier, I have lovely lamb mince there. And then I saw Murga's sausages, which are North African sausages. And they've got lovely spice okay. in them. Do you know them? No, I don't know them at all. Absolutely gorgeous. Anytime you're in your butcher, just ask for to see if they have the Murga. So they're really red, you can see. And that's the paprika and all the nice spices. Are they pork sausages just spiced? They are, no, they're, they're lamb and Shit. beef. Okay, yeah. right. So these would be for, you know, mostly eaten in Muslim countries. So that's why there wouldn't be pork. Of course, sorry. No, but, it, that, but that's what, why they're, and they're absolutely delicious. In fairness, they're not hot, spicy, blow your head off, but they're definitely full of flavour. They've got a quite kick like, to them. Yeah. yeah, and quite like what these meatballs are going to be like. Okay. So All right. we have the mince in, and that's the two different types. I realised when I was packing up that Vern's going to kill me. There's raisins in this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Warren doesn't I'm sorry, quite like guys. raisins. You don't have to. We just chop them up nice and small or else we don't tell them we're in the thick of it. Then I have a spice called Raz Al Hanout, which is the top kind of uh, spices in um, the souks. They kind of each spice merchant would give their top favourite and that they'd make this blend. But essentially it's got cardamom, it's got pap paprika, it's got cayenne, chilli. It's absolutely delicious. So that's got in there as well. What else have we got? We've got a mix of herbs. So I've got mint, oregano and parsley. And you'll see that in the rest of the dish as well. They've been chopped nice and fine going in. And you use the dried ones? To be honest, um, and I don't mean to sound like... You know, no. Do it anyway. That's why I was, I was like, no, you can't not use extra virgin olive oil. Um, maybe for the meatballs, but definitely not for the, the salad part that we're doing. For okay. the meatballs, yeah, you could. Dried mint is lovely. Uh, dried oregano is really nice as well. Sometimes I put it in a little bit of boiling water before I add it to a dish, and that will just kind of awaken the spice a little okay. bit more. All right. okay. Then lots of lovely garlic is going in. What I'm going to do is actually put the garlic in on top of... This is tomato puree. So I'm kind of adding a little bit of a wet, a wet element to the meatballs. So it's tomato puree and egg. And I really like to mix this prior to, I forgot to get a fork, so we'll try it with a spoon, uh, prior to putting it in. Because if you put like a chunk of tomato puree or an egg, it's very hard for it to, yeah. to mix all together. So I've got that kind of combined, it kind of helps it spread. Lovely. And then, the last ingredient is some breadcrumbs. I've got panko breadcrumbs, which are Asian, so it's definitely not supposed to be with this dish, but I love the crispy factor that they give. And they're that bit bigger, aren't they? They're bigger, they're air dried, they're just really, you can kind of nearly taste the difference as well. Um, so that's it, that's our meatball mixture. And then this is, you know, a good part for the kids or whatever, yeah. get your hands in. Hence the gloves, probably could have done with a bigger bowl. Be all over the counter now, <laughs> we're jeepers. I like the way she's doing it, it's like she's playing football and also being the analyst at home. Yeah. Well. Like <laughs> what she's doing, you're, you're doing so both true. parts of it. <laughs> like why didn't I get a bigger ball there? You're raging at yourself now. <laughs> Anyway, look, we've done it. And you can see it's not just simple meatballs. There's loads of gorgeous flavour in there. You've got, you know, I would put the salt and pepper in there. My hands are full, but don't forget your salt and pepper. And then roll it into kind of even, make sure you get it really spread and roll it into even golf ball size. So, okay. Okay. now that everyone's back golf, they might remember the size of golf you balls. You didn't need a lot for, for the amount in the recipe. You didn't need that much of a binding agent. It's actually quite No, good. you don't. And, and actually, you know, if someone wanted to make this with vegetarian, you know, as for vegetarians, they could use lentils and flax instead of egg. Right. So then you roll those into balls like this, mm -hmm. got all the lovely flavors and you throw them into the oven. So imagine that's what happened. I made... Well, you did. 36, 16, 36. In, in 36. record yeah, gosh. time. Let's just say a number. We're all just like Connor Pope. We're just saying well, numbers today. Yeah. Right, well, there in the oven, we're going to make the tabouleh salad. So this is tabouleh or tabouli. So essentially, it's m mostly about the herbs. And that's where, I, as again, it is important to have the fresh herbs here. So I have loads of gorgeous parsley and mint. This is a summery, you know, awake in the senses kind of salad. Absolutely delicious. So in goes the... And is this North African as well? Yes. So this would be definitely from all Arab countries. And it's used as a salad about this, the other bits as opposed to this, which is the bulgur. And for us, it's kind of hard to understand that because we're like all about the carbs. This is cracked wheat. And the bulgur is, you know, the mixer of it, but we want to see it nice and green. So I'm going to put in only about half that bulgur. I have the full recipe on, be up on Six Eats on, on the Instagram as well. And then loads of lovely fresh tomato and I've put chopped cucumber going through it. 
Okay. So it's just like summer in a bowl. We're going to do a little bit of a zest of lemon. Lovely. And on top, like it smells. I know, I know the starter today was bad, but then just before we went on air, I was like, there's that sunshine now. We're ready to go. I also awesome. really appreciate your styling. You do go all out. <laughs> Look at her accessories. They're all like Moroccan themed, North yeah. African themed. Yeah. <laughs> She's got like her bowls. Go on, <laughs> leaning into it. Thanks, thanks, uh, Myrne. To be honest, I went a few years ago and it is going to be somewhere that I'll go pretty soon after we're allowed, you know, as Connor said, get your flight. Would booked. that be the one that you'd be? Morocco is just, it's just blow your mind. It is. You're like literally going to Aladdin the movie, obviously not animated um, in real life, but it's just fabulous. It's, it's just another world, especially that it's like an hour and a half flight. That's it. That's a little bit of olive oil. Don't forget your scallions. And we're going to start to plate this up now, OK? So we're nearly there. OK. You can see it coming through. Um, yeah, just like you're walking around the souks, there's her, you know, for, for a food lover. I was about lover, to say food lover. It's insane. You know, the street yeah. food. Um, it's just amazing. It's my, it was kind of my only taste of Middle East, really. I've been to um, Southeast Asia and stuff, but absolutely, I love the food. So I brought home, geez, and I left all my clothes so I could bring home ceramics <laughs> and stuff. Uh, I'll go back with an empty suitcase. Anybody going that loves bits and bobs for their house, go with an empty suitcase. Okay, so there's that gorgeous salad. It smells so super fresh. We're that take is the pure, like you're going into one of those posh salad places, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to cost you 79 I'm thinking of the person who went <laughs> into that Moroccan hotel and found a wardrobe full of clothes. <laughs> it's Erica's that are there. I just hope yeah. they fit you. <laughs> so really quickly, you see your meatballs here. We're just going to drizzle a little bit of oil. They don't need a huge amount, but this is called pomegranate molasses. So it's quite like, oh. it's a sweetened, it's basically pomegranate juice, which comes from the seeds and the center of the pomegranate. And then it's been reduced and sweetened. Okay. So they get tossed in that. We're nearly there, guys. Look, yep. It smells so good. Left. Can you smell them? And this is kind of gives adds in that sweetness, um, but not too sweet because we have obviously all the spices and stuff in there. And I'm going to show you a tiny little trick. This is harissa, very simply with a little bit of olive oil. Just stir it. Goes on top of my yogurt. Kind of mm -hmm. press it down if you're serving it, or you could do a nice dollop. Oh, and delicious. Up. It looks amazing. A little bit of mint. Make sure people eat with their eyes. And it's a really nice garden party kind of dish to do at the moment when the weather gets a bit better. Hey, or else we'll oh. just all get um, one, of those, one of those canopies. No, what are they called? Can <laughs> I can't remember. Can Tenses. I give it up? Tenses. Tenses. Yeah. Give it up, please, Erica. 